Hello and welcome to Gear Tracks 2019. Uh, let's go over some of the uh, the general options that are available in, in uh, Gear Tracks. Um, you can get to the general options two ways, either by going to this uh, drop down menu or this general options button. Um, first, envelope precision that was available on previous on the uh, previous uh, release releases, and same with the decimal places and the default units. Um, new is uh, the line weight. You can now choose between normal, heavy, and, and very heavy. Um, image quality, high speed, high quality, and anti-aliasing. If I'm saying that right, I don't know. But anyways, um, new for 2019 is the maximum number of teeth. You can have up to 10,000 teeth on here. And this is really here just to prevent you from accidentally entering in a high number and it would really slow uh, gear tracks down for a few minutes but um so now you can select that so if you want uh, if you have a gear that um you want um 5,000 teeth enter in 5,000 here and then you can go back to uh the spur tab for example and enter in 5,000 for that teeth um the the range is 1,000 to 10,000. Um, now we have a uh, language selector and with this language selector you can program your own languages. Right now it's all programmed in English um, but what you can do is check this box here, enable label edit and then you can go to um, you know one of the menu items and hold down the control key and press on a uh, a label and you can edit the label to whatever you want um, let's say you, you know you may want normal PA and and then um, that will be what is displayed now you need to to save that once you make those changes and if you have a bunch of changes you've made and you want to change it with coworkers or with other users, you can export that language and you can email that to support at camnetics.com, hint, hint. And you can import languages that um, other users have provided. Also, we have um, some font and color options. So you can change the... Um, the typical label font, let's say you want 10 for a, a, a size. Um, and there's also color options. Let's say you want to set the graphic screen to a, a different background color. So let's select, a, oh, let's go a color like this maybe. And now that's the background color for the graphic screen. And you also have some gradient control. So you can have it darker on top. Or darker on the bottom. Just some just some little options. Then you can you can save that um, font and color to a predefined um, Test. I'll just say test for now, and then you can also s share that with fellow users. Um, you can load font and color styles from other users, and then there's the CAD version. If you're a SolidWorks user, you have options between last session and anywhere between SolidWorks 2006 and. 2019 for the 2019 version. Um, assembly temp, now uh, you can constrain the involute sketch. So when it creates the sketch, it fixes those things so it can't accidentally be dragged. Um, you can specify an assembly template and a part template file. Those are option, optional for SOLIDWORKS users. And then um, you have some options for the, the um, tooth creation. Uh, the default is with splines, 
or you can select with arcs so rather than creating a spine it'll take three points and make an arc out of it and then there's the legacy full involute um, I don't recommend using that um, it really doesn't go to any standard so please use that with caution so anyways that's the options for GearTracks 2019 thank you very much